hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we have oppo a57 device that came in for repair and this device came in from another technician and the technician told me that the customer told him that the phone no longer powers on okay so um this is a video of how i was able to bring the phone back to life okay I tried powering on the phone and the phone wasn't powering on so um, I've checked initially I've checked the voltage of the battery it was around 3.6 volts which is uh, still okay to power on a phone even though it's gonna tell you that the battery is low okay so um, guys before we proceed let's take the reading of the battery okay so putting your multimeter on voltage reading mode okay dcv mode we need to take the voltage of the battery the readings i mean of the voltage of the battery all right as you can see that is 3.6 volts which is enough to power on a phone so when you get 3.6 volts on the battery it should power on the phone it might tell you the battery is low but that is not a problem all right all right um the next thing to do is to put your multimeter on diode mode and please pay attention on the readings okay multimeter on diode mode red probe on ground black probe to take reading gnd fine Me, uh, middle terminal which is the bsi fine and the 0 0.6 voltage drop which is okay let's reverse the probe and we're also getting 0 0.6 voltage drop which is abnormal okay that is very abnormal and that is showing that the phone is having short problem just using your multimeter and the next thing to do is what we call physical inspection this is to examine the pcb and look for rust bonds uh, any abnormalities on the pcb now take a closer look at this capacitor right here right this one right here is looking so corroded and this one doesn't look ld as well so <laughs> We can't judge based on this anyway, but let's continue the troubleshooting, okay? Removing the shields on this PCB. Guys, if you're interested in our online training, please DM us on the numbers on the screen. The numbers on the screen is not for you to ask for solutions. It's just for online training inquiry. If you want to know more about phone troubleshooting, if you're a technician already or you're just um, into the field or you're a professional technician, the online training is available for you now let's go to the dc power supply and let's plug the phone as you can see the readings i'm going to do it one more time and as you can see it's consuming current all right which is very very abnormal okay consuming current now let's inject voltage with the boot cable and let's see which of the part of the pcb is consuming uh the current from our dc power supply take a closer look at the screen you can see that red glow right there that is a short circuit on this mobile pcb i'm going to do it again so it is very important for you as a technician to have different tools in your workshop so that you can use most of them to troubleshoot and come to conclusion of where the problem is on your mobile pcb all right on that region where i got a signal a red eating signal on my thermal camera i'm going to spray some rosin flux on that section for me to be clear which of the components is having short are you getting what i'm saying guys so i'm um, here is where i'm applying my rosin flux if you know if you want to learn how to apply rosin flux i have a video on my youtube channel that addresses that so go to my videos and check my videos all right guys the rosin flux has been applied let's go under under the microscope to show you the exact component that is eating up so pay close attention at this red arrow on this left top corner this capacitor right here will melt as you can see it has melted all right so that is the exact component that is making this whole pcb not to function yes it is very important it is very it is very possible i mean that just a component i mean a capacitor can shut down the whole system of a mobile 
PCB, all right? So it is very important as a technician to have that at the, bar, at the back of your mind. Our online training is very much available. If you are interested, please join our online training. The numbers are on the screen. DM me and I'm going to chat with you on the next step to, um, to join the training, all right? This capacitor is very bad, as you can see. It's melted the rosin flux. And now I'm going to remove that capacitor. I'm going to remove that capacitor, all right? Guys, I'm going to remove that capacitor right now and I'm going to remove it because it is very bad. We don't need it anymore. And you can remember this capacitor was a capacitor I, I took notes at the beginning of the video, all right? That is why physical inspection is very, very important when you're working on a mobile PCB, okay? If you are very good at physical inspection, you will solve most of the problems. Let me say you solve around 60% of the problems on your boba PCB. I'm telling you guys. Now, taking another reading on the VBAT section and reversing the probes, the shot is gone. The shot is gone. Remember, it was using 0 0.6 on both readings. All right. Let's go to the DC power supply now to uh, plug the boot cable on the PCB and let's see if it's going to draw current or it's not going to draw current okay so now let's go as you can see it's no longer drawing current that means the short is gone guys hit the like button and subscribe for that if you don't know how to use multimeter i have series of videos five videos that's expressly and expansiated more about how to use multimeter i hope my grammar is not too much powering on the phone let, let's go and let's see if the short is really gone the phone is working guys hit that like button right now hit that button right now now um i'm going to replace the capacitor many people watch my videos and they'll be asking me should i replace the capacitor should i not replace the capacitor this is how i'm replacing the capacitor okay so don't remove a capacitor without replacing it. It is very important when you remove a shorted capacitor, you replace it with the exact same size of the capacitor or you check your schematic diagram for the capacitance of that capacitor. I hope you guys are getting me. So this is where I'm replacing the capacitor, showing you that it is very, very important for you to also replace the capacitor, okay? All right, so guys, I would like to talk about the physical training and the online training. It's very much available, like I said. It's very much available. So if you are interested, please DM us on the numbers on the screen. Like I said, the numbers on the screen is not to ask me uh, solutions to your phone. It's just inquiry on how to join the training, physical or online. And the uh, physical training is also very much available. Accommodation is available and also you will be able to receive proper training. I hope you guys understand. See you in my next video. Peace.